Hello and welcome back to another video from inzara.com. This time we are talking about the product rating report. This is a new Excel template and this template is useful for summarizing product rating data that you may have about your products from your customers, especially where you are receiving data on a one to five star scale, which is the most common. And in such scenarios, this template can help you create a quick report on that data. So in this video, I will show the features included in the template and in a separate video, I will explain how to enter data into the template and you know explain more how the template functions. So now let's get started. So now I have the template open and this is what the template will look like once we have some data entered into that. But when you download the template first, there won't be any data, it'll be blank. So now I have entered some sample data so that I can illustrate how the template functions. There are two visible sheets. One is the data and the other one is called the report. And data is where we start, where we enter information about our products and then the star rating that we have received for our products. So in this case, I've entered my products, the inzara.com's products and the ratings that I've received in 2015. And for example, let's use the event calendar maker example. The event calendar maker product I've received one four star review and seven five star reviews. And so I entered one and seven in these two columns. And then I have categorized my products in the product category column. I have chosen project management, inventory management and all. So similarly, you can choose your own product categories to categorize your products, especially when you have a lot of products. And the last three columns are provided as calculations and so they are in green headers so please don't edit those formula if you're not sure of exactly how the formula works please don't edit them now the rating count is straightforward it's the number of ratings that we have received for each product the average rating is the average of the ratings that we have received for that product so for example we have received one four star review for the recruitment manager Excel template. So we have a average rating of 4.0. And then the project manager, we have received, um, you know, nine reviews in total and the average of that is 4.3. So that's how you would interpret that. The last column is the rating rank. And this is a rank calculated among all the products. What is the rank of each product based on average rating? So in this case, I have sorted. So you can also sort it from smallest to largest, for example. Now, the, the table is sorted based on the average rating from the top to the bottom. So the best rated product will be at the top because the rank is one. And we have four products which have the highest ranking or rating of 5.0. And at the bottom, we have the lowest rated product, which is this one. There's only one review and it is for a four star. So it ends up being the lowest rated product. So you can sort very easily using the uh, rating rank. You can also sort based on this. You can also sort um, based on the number of ratings you have received for each product. Similarly, you can also filter. For example, if I only want to see my best rated product or I can go to average rating, show me only the 5.0 rated products. So then it'll give me only those. So these are default features embedded within Excel's table feature. So all of those are applicable here as well. Now, in addition to this, after you have entered data in this table, when we go to the report sheet, we will have some more additional information. So to start off, it's very important that when you enter data, you always hit refresh all from this data ribbon. And that is important because the, the report is created based on some hidden pivot tables. And whenever we use pivot tables, it's important that we refresh it so that the pivot tables will gather the latest data from our data sheet and then it will feed the report sheet. So that is the reason for hitting the refresh all whenever you in add new data or update any data, make sure that you hit refresh all. Okay, now at the top we have the product category slicer and this can be used to filter your data. So uh, what you see right now is all the ratings that I've received, 80 ratings, the average was 4.7. And if I only want to see one specific category like project management, 
I can click that and I can see I've got 36 ratings for project management products or templates. In my case, it's a template and average rating of those is 4.6. 67% of them were five stars, 31% were four stars, and I have 3% of them with a one star. And so this is my breakdown by stars for my ratings received for the project management category. And the chart on the right will tell, give you the rating, average rating by product. So I have four products within this category. I can see them here. As I scroll down, I will see the number of ratings that I've received. It's always important to consider the number of ratings along with the average rating because you have a new product like GAN Chart Maker, which has only received two ratings so far, but I've been um, you know, publishing the project plan and template for a while, and so it's got 20 reviews. So you, you need to keep that in mind. On the left, you have a comment section where you can just click, double click and then type any comments you have about the data and uh, this could be done to provide a story behind the data and then you can export this page or save it as pdf and so you can go to file print and print the sheet or you can go to file export and then create a pdf from this and then share the pdf so this is very very uh, this is a very simple excel template right now which will give you a quick report based on the rating data there are a lot of ways to expand the feature set within this template so i look forward to feedback and uh, please leave them in the comments so that i can uh, i will definitely respond to them and if there is enough interest to expand the feature set i will definitely consider that as we continue to evolve into future versions of this template so thank you very much for watching the video